We'll continue to follow up on that developing story. More will be coming in our subsequent news bulletin. Now, the Africa Climate Week concludes today with various events taking place at the Kenyatta International Convention Center, KICC. Among the events was a meeting bringing together the Kenya Climate Change Working Group. The keynote speaker was Vihiga Governor Dr. Wilberforce Otichilo. The meeting focused on enhancing local communities' role in climate change. And just like quickly first introduce me, my name is Elizabeth Wanja. I work with Kenya Climate Change Working Group as the coordinator. We all agree that Africa is the continent that is worst affected by the impacts of climate change due to a couple of reasons, one being uh, our geographical location, and secondly, our over-reliance on the very uh, climate-sensitive sectors, including agriculture and tourism. And we talk, when you talk about um, res resilience building, we cannot leave our, um, us behind the communities um, living in the remote areas and also the vulnerable groups and who are most impacted or at the front line when it comes to receiving the impacts of climate change. And this uh, could be attributed to a couple of reasons. One is um, the limited capacities in terms of access to climate information. Uh, secondly, access to um, finances. And uh, thirdly, issues of infrastructure. Uh, one of the entry points in terms of bridging this barrier or bridging this gap could be enhancing um, early, inform early warning systems and also uh, climate information systems to ensure that uh, the vulnerable communities and also the communities that they uh, had to reach areas are able to access climate information in a timely and accurate manner. And one of the strategies that we've seen or we've employed in our programming is um, uh, localized and uh, culturally sensitive communication. We all appreciate that we don't live in a homogeneous community or society. Different societies have different cultures, they have different social cultural beliefs, they have a uh, different literacy level. So when we're uh, designing our uh, communication packages, we need to take cognizance of these factors so that we develop communication uh, that is tailored to the unique needs and circumstances of different communities. And while at this, it is important that we work closely with the um, community leaders so that we are able to uh, get these communities uh, the information under, accurately and also at the right time. Secondly, is integrating uh, indigenous knowledge to the scientific knowledge that we have. We all appreciate that um, indigenous knowledge uh, holders, especially our elders, have a wide wealth of information as far as weather information is concerned, uh, sim uh, simple signs that uh, they're able to interpret and um, uh, uh, communicate with their communities in terms of uh, anticipated changes um, in the environment. And if we are able to integrate this with uh, scientific knowledge, we'll be able to get, um, get it right. The Africa Climate Summit coming to an end, but that is just the beginning.